welcome to key to ease english program today for class 9 second unit second prose section that is tolstoy farm you will know that tolstoy farm is an extract from mahatma gandhi's autobiog autobiography the story of my experiment with truth in this one he details about his concept about education before going to the unit we must get a clear picture about what mahatma gandhi is and who is tolstoy and taking it to that one let's go through certain pictures and identify both these great personalities and after that we can read tolstoy farm to know more about gandhi ji mohandas karamchand gandhi i'm just taking you through certain pictures and it will give you clarity over gandhi i think gandhi as a small child 1876 as a child this is the earliest picture of mohandas karamchand gandhi he is aged 7 that time gandhi's mother putli bai putli putli bai had a strong spiritual influence on gandhi that is you can see rudrakshamala is kept here and she was a devout hindu who used to fast regularly fasting means taking prayers without taking food she also took advice from jain priest gandhi's father karamchand gandhi's father was a politician he was prime minister of porbandar a small princely state of western india on those days 1883 as a teenager gandhi played sports such as tennis and cricket when he lied to his parents or stole from his brother he felt very guilty from early childhood itself he never lied lied means kalambariya and stealing things stole from his brother he felt very guilty with brother gandhi had two brothers and one sister he was the youngest child he here he is shown with his elder brother lakshmi das and gandhi in england 1890 this is the first picture of gandhi in england here you can see gandhi here he is shown on a waste of the vegetarian society to the isle of wight gandhi was a lifelong vegetarian his in 91 he became a law student law student means one who is studying for to become an barrister or advocate gandhi trained to be a barrister at the inner temple of in london as a barrister after the brief period of back in india gandhi went to south africa to practice law after getting education he came to india but went back to south africa to practice law he was retained by a firm of muslim merchants headed by dada abdullah seth he did not natal congress or natal congress in south africa he soon became involved in protecting the rights of indian migrants india ka ko and is thodangi 1895 here he is shown with other members of the natal indian congress another social service he was involved is 1899 ambulance core spelling you can see o r p s but it is called core during the boer war 
Gandhi formed the Indian Ambulance Corps. Gandhi took the leadership. Okay. He married at the age of 13 with Kasturba. His family. Here in 1910, he wrote a letter to Tolstoy. Our text name is Tolstoy Farm. Letter to Tolstoy. Tolstoy, I want to tell others what I feel particularly, clearly and what to my mind is of great importance. Namely, that which is called non-violent resistance, but which is really nothing else but the teaching of love. This was the thing Gandhi wrote to, here is his letterhead M.K. Gandhi, attorney and here he has returned this letter to Tolstoy. In 1910 he started Tolstoy Farm, 21 miles from Johannesburg. It is South African place, capital. Gandhi's second venture into the communal living. Communal living means living together. Not living together nowadays. Living to a community together it is living. Communal, communal farming, communal eating, communal education and everything. The first had been Phoenix Farm in near Durban. It is the second venture. Second Andamat Samam. Later Gandhi founded ashrams in India. That also for community living. So here we two times we heard the name of Tolstoy and we have to understand something about Tolstoy. Then only we can go to the unit. And Gandhi's other lives, you are familiar, you are learning social science and you can ask your teachers. And you are quite lucky I should say that you are learning something about Mahatma Gandhi. I hope you got a clear picture about Mahatma Gandhi. Now we can study the autobiography of Mahatma Gandhi. What is an autobiography? Autobiography is the biography written by the same person itself. Suppose I am writing my biography means it is autobiography. If someone else is writing my biography, so it will be a biography only. In Malayalam, we will say Jeeva Jaritrum Atma Kathi. Atma Katha means autobiography. Another one is Jeeva Jaritrum. And here, this one the story of my experiments with the truth is an autobiographical piece. So Gandhi is explained. Now we have to go to Tolstoy. And how, what's the link between Mahatma Gandhi and Tolstoy that we have to understand. Then only uh, reading this text, as we can link that one. Okay, so let's understand more about Leo Tolstoy, who he is and how he is linked with Mahatma Gandhi. Here comes a small detail about Leo Tolstoy. Early years, born on August 28, 1828, in Russia's Tula province, Yansia Polivana. Fourth out of five children, family old Russian nobility, mother Countess Maria Tolstaya, father Count. Nikolai Ilyich Tolstoy. Family moved to Moscow. Father died shortly after. This is the early life of Leo Tolstoy. His major works, he's a Russian. His most famous works are War and Peace. You tell him some other. It is believed as the 
finest novel ever written in the world anna karina also comes same group the death of ivan ilich had ji mora childhood boyhood youth wrote over 10 novels 20 short stories seven plays four essays and five non fiction pieces works gives the depiction of his own life as a writer his inspirations to do all these things what jane chucker sources emily the confessions many writers influenced him that that word that and all his process war wife yasna polinia faith these all things influenced him to write this one and tolstoyism is a way of life met vladimir chatko focused on jesus teachings and war especially live simply why i am telling all these things these lived by five rules he in tolstoyism believed in these five rules love enemies having relation with gandhi do not be angry gandhis do not fight evil with evil these were the five principles tolstoy believed so hope you are getting an idea about why gandhi got influenced by tolstoy influenced influenced by tolstoy christian theories inspired many people for years gandhi believed violence was morally wrong wrote many letters to each other and became friends gandhi and tolstoy through gandhi tolstoy inspired, inspired many more now the link between the relevance of the unit title also you got this both were inspired each other and through gandhi tolstoy inspired others also here you can see circles of influences this is tolstoy shakespeare hemingway voltaire lord byron isaac newton all great personalities are influenced each other and here gandhi gandhi martin luther king muhammad ali jinnah everyone got inspired by tolstoy now hope you understood we'll pass on to our unit right it's a tribe time i think thank you now hope you got the relevance of the title tolstoy farm and how it functions and what does the text say let us see here let's read tolstoy farm was a community indian started by gandhi ji in transvaal it is in south africa here it is in 1910 now it is 2020 how many years before just calculate it became the headquarters of campaign of satyagraha non violence the farm 21 miles away from johannesburg had been bought by Herman Kalanbach one of Gandhi ji's supporters one of Gandhi ji's supporters both Kalanbach and Gandhi ji were highly impressed by Tolstoy's writings so they decided to name the farm after Tolstoy so it's farm's name became tolstoy farm the inmates of the farm were schooled by gandhi ji himself so he said the community living is the small children will be there so they must be educated schooled 
that is done by gandhi ji himself hope you got the picture about it we are passing on to we are starting the unit now itself as the farm grew which farm tolstoy farm it was found necessary to make some provisions for the education some provisions for the education of its boys and girls so everyone is living together in that farm they are farming they are cultivating they are spinning they are working playing and everything they are doing but there are children they must get school education and what there must be some provisions what is the meaning of provisions there must be certain vallikal undaa kutla vidyabhyasathil proper vall undaa there were among these hindu muslim and parsi and christian boys and some hindu girls are the all religion together they are living that's why community living we are boys and some hindu girls it was not possible and i did not think it necessary to engage special teachers for them so who is writing i here it is gandhi himself is telling that is i myself took the charge of that one i did not think it necessary to engage special teachers for them it was not possible for qualified indian teachers were scarce that time qualified indian teachers were scarce what is scarce durlabham aayirunnu not available and even when available none would be ready to go to a place 21 miles distant from johannesburg on a small salary also we were certainly not overflowing with money two things are there. one thing it is not available they are they were scarce qualified teachers even if somebody is there they are not ready to travel 21 kilometers from johannesburg for a small salary they cannot pay more also we were certainly not overflowing with money and we don't have that much money to pay for the mores and i did not think it necessary to import teachers from outside the farm i did not believe in the existing system of education so gandhi didn't believe the existing system of education that time that's why new education system is coming and i had a mind to find out by experience and experiment the true system so i decided i had a mind i had an idea to find out by experience and experiment by doing and conducting experiment the true system of education gandhi's view on education gandhi is an educationist only this much i knew that under ideal conditions true education could be imparted only by the parents and that then there should be minimum outside help i believe that i believe that the in an ideal situation it is gandhi's belief parents only can give proper education to their child true education could be imparted given only by parents and that then there should be the minimum outside help that tolstoy farm was a family in which i occupied the place of the father so he comes to the point that is parents only can give best education father only can give and tolstoy farm is a family dr gandhi is believed to be the father of that family and that i should that i should so far as possible shoulder 
I should, so far as possible, shoulder the responsibility. This is a very good use also. Shoulder the responsibility for training of the young. So he is shouldering the responsibility. Shouldering the responsibility means taking the charge. All the usage of Malala is not going to be able to do it. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Shoulder the responsibility. Right? The conception, no doubt, was not without its flows. Flows means failures. All the young people had not been with the since their childhood. They had been brought up in different conditions and environments. And they did not belong to the same religion. How could I do full justice to the young people? Thus circumstanced, thus circumstanced even if I assumed the place of a pater family, familias. So the members of the, that family, that community were different youngsters who are hailing from different caste, religion, uh, sociological background and everything. And here the pater familias means he is the head of that family. Mudurne alan reveal. And thus circumstanced me. That led me even if I assumed the place of the pater familias. That is he became the leader. He became the head of that family. He himself took the charge. But I had always given the first place to the culture of the heart or the building of character. So, in my education, I give first importance to the culture of heart. Culture of heart or the building of character. And as I felt confident that moral training could be given to all alike, whatever may be the caste, whatever may be the religion, no matter different their ages and their upbringings. In different upbringing they, are, they, are, they, are, they might have come up, different ages may be there. But I just gave concentration on the culture of the heart, building of character. I decided to live amongst them all the 24 hours of the day as their father. The first step what he has done is he lived amongst them along with them 24 hours as their father. I regarded character building as the proper foundation for their education and if the foundation was firmly laid, what is foundation? Adittara. If Adittara Bhangya is firmly laid, I was sure that the children could learn all the other things themselves. Once you laid the foundation, other all qualities will be will develop on that one. Or with the assistance of friends. Right? For today's we'll stop here and remaining part we'll discuss the next day. Hope you have enjoyed this Tolstoy farm. Now I have three questions to you. First one is who were the inmates of Tolstoy farm? And second question is why couldn't Gandhi appoint special teachers for Indian students? Third question is What did Gandhi regard as the proper foundation for the education of the children? These three questions are in your textbook. Try answering it. And write a short profile of Leo Tolstoy. It is just just know little more about Leo Tolstoy. It will help you. So the fourth task I am assigning you. Thank you. 
and and take care be safe stay at home thank you